Hey guys, I'm Ben, and welcome back to my Sims 4 save file. Last time, we toured the Pleasant Junior House, and today we're taking a look at the Burb Junior House. So now that Jennifer has settled down with the Pleasant family after a crazy adventure with dragons, will she finally be able to return to pursuing her childhood dream of becoming a sports star before it's too late? With an orchard and a vegetable garden, this rustic traditional ranch is perfect for any family just starting out. Inspired by Gunther, 63 Gunther Goth Highway from The Sims 1. So this specific house is based on, a, like, it's just a basic ranch house, but I took some inspiration from the original Burb house, which I rebuilt in Newcrest. So that's for a later video, which will, won't be for quite a while, you know. So the Burbs are sort of an interesting family. I really wanted to incorporate them with sort of the middle class families. So well, Jennifer is one of the iconic originals and I wanted to sort of give her a bit of justice, you know. I really wanted her to follow, start following her dream of being a sports star. So I want her to sort of like like start pursuing that you know and here we have the bird house and and it's pretty fun like it's like you can see the inspiration with like all the trees and stuff that were in the original bird house so yeah here here it is here it is and this is so i think this is gonna be a picture for now but you know I, yeah that's that's pretty that's pretty good so if we want to start like taking a look at everything that's going on we have like a huge orchard here and then as we walk in we have this nice sort of dining room area with this living room you know you'd think it'd be a bit more like sporty but this is a starter home i wanted to make a starter home for them so since they're sort of a bin family normally i also have the dragon toys i put in as much as possible because i really wanted to reference the their visit to dragon valley here so yeah, that's kind of important. Here's the bathroom and stuff. And then over here is their room, which borrows colors from the original Burb house. So, yeah, that's pretty much what we have for their overall thing. I even have this in the background here, too. So, that's pretty fun. Yeah, one thing that I really liked is that, like, like seeing, like, that one news site that wrote an article on my save file use, like, like my safe off for like other articles too, so they like use it for like showing off different things. That's pretty fun. So. I really like that. Um, now that we finished, basically finished touring the safe file, we can take a look at our general stuff. So John is just this basic, well, not basic, but he's just like this big family sim who really loves family and stuff. I think he has this really close relationship with Jennifer, you know, she's in for work, but whatever, we don't care right now. Like, I'm not saving this, I'm just like, but, you know, she's a gym rat, she's a creative visionary, like, she really wants to get the money. Like, she's a fortune sim, she always has been, she always will be. And then we have Lucy Burb, who just wants to make some friends, you know, she's a bit mischievous, she's a goofball and stuff, but, you know, like, a traditional well, nuclear family, but... It's pretty fun. Now we'll take a look at their relationships. Like, she's friends with Boyd Wainwright from The Sims 3. That's, that's surprising, but oh well. Like, I made her friends with Olivia and Alexander from the town. And then we have Jennifer, romance with John, and then friends with all the jocks in this town. And he's just friends with it, like with his family and stuff. Some of the nature lovers. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the Burb family. I like playing with them because I always move them into the trailer on the like next door to the Rook family. But yeah, I I really do enjoy playing with them as sort of a new family and stuff. I usually have them have multiple children too, so that was pretty fun. Like one time I had like them have like like a blonde son and daughter and they went to college and stuff and it was pretty fun that was sort of in my my uh pleasant view save that i played with for six rounds that was really really fun to do though just seeing them grow and just 
progress in life was really really cool and I kind of do want to like do a tour of it one day because I really do like like playing Sims 2 a lot of the time so that was cool so now we've made it to the end of this video so next time um we're probably gonna tour the dreamer house because I think all we have left is the dreamer house and the foreman house right like, we're definitely doing the Dreamer House next, so... Oh, that's pretty much gonna be it, so thanks for watching, and see you next time.